with Ryan Wolstead. He's the Raptors columnist. Where in the world is Drake? Drake has flaked. Drake has flaked. He hasn't been at one game yet this season. When do we? When can we expect to see Drake in his courtside seats for a Raptors game? He better be there for next Friday's OVO night, or else that would be a bad look for the global ambassador. I mean, he's busy with with touring and all that sort of thing, but he's got to show up at least for that night. Yeah. Because. Uh, you know, he, he's the last few years, he's made a point of only showing up three, four, maybe five times before the playoffs. So that's kind of his thing now. I guess it's old hat for him. To, those seats, uh, he'd rather just give someone else them for the night or leave them empty. Or leave them empty. Does it bother yeah. you when you know you're sitting there, you're scribbling, you're taking it does, notes? You know what? It does bother me because that's part of the reason why we, the media, got pushed out of our courtside seats for things like Drake getting his seats he doesn't even use. So, yes, I'm going to say that pisses me off. Okay. What are you going to do? What can you tell us about the Warriors? Draymond, Kevin Durant, there's a lot of, like, hate on going. Mark, I think that they're just bored. They know that <laughs> they're the, you know, no one's going to beat them if they're healthy. They're not beating that team. They're one of the best teams ever assembled. They have the second and third best player in the NBA on the same team, plus a bunch of other really good teams. They're not going to lose. I think they're just... You know, like Michael Jordan always needed something to motivate him, even though if it was stupid or whatever. Like, they just need an excuse to get motivated and to have some fun in November in the season. It's a long season. I don't think there's much to it. Draymond, you know, he's a little erratic, and, and there's a little bit to it, but I think mostly it's they're just trying to find some sort of angle to get them motivated and get them ready to play because they're that good. Is Kevin Durant headed out of Golden State? I'd say 50-50. I think the Knicks might finally get a superstar. I, I could see him wanting to be the king of New York and, and all of that. And it's, it's a possibility. I could also see him staying, but I think it's not impossible. And in fact, it might be around 50-50. What about the Raptors? I mean, Kevin Durant no, grew not, up loving the... Yeah, he's not coming to the Raptors. Okay, he's not coming to the Raptors. You just heard that right there. Last question, LeBron, LA. How is LA doing right now? Eh, not so great. They're, they're trying to find their way. It's, it's a weird collection of players. And LeBron might be at the point where... You know, he's just kind of going through the motions a little bit, and that's still better than everyone else, but the Lakers are a bit of a mess, and I think they're waiting to try to sign a big superstar to play with uh, LeBron next year. Okay, just don't say Kawhi Leonard. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think down below in the comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.